Stacey Donaldson now. Stacey, despite the clouds, it was a great day for people to get out on the water. That's right, and eat some spicy ramen. Just heat things up a little bit more, no matter what. Afternoon highs today were in the low 80s. Beautiful conditions up at Steamboat Springs today as well, and these wildflowers in full bloom, just absolutely gorgeous. This photo taken by Larry Pierce today. And in Denver, we have some cloud cover across the area. This is going to stick around. We have thunderstorms that have been developing and moving through eastern Colorado, and this is what it looks like in downtown Denver with those clouds sticking around. So highs today in the low 80s here for the Front Range, 70 toward Colorado Springs and Pueblo and even 80s up in the mountains. We are expecting some more rain tonight. It'll be especially heavy at times to the south and then we'll even have some 70s coming back into the forecast next week. So some changes on the way but the thing is we're going to hang on to this rainfall for quite a few days. Temperatures in the 70s now from DIA to Commerce City 79 for City Park, even 65 for Castle Rock and 66 for Parker. So in downtown Denver now we have 72 degrees, humidity of 57 percent and our winds in from the northeast at 20 miles an hour. And we're actually going to see some of the heavier showers here down through southern Colorado. That's why we have the flash flood watch in effect until 3 a.m. We still have plenty of thunderstorm activity here uh, just east of Denver all the way down into the southeastern part of the state. Right now we have a storm right over Thornton and it's actually uh, has some small hail associated with it. A lot of lightning as well and heavy rain. Now down to the south we've seen heavy rain moving out of Castle Rock. This flood advisory, this is for creeks and streams in effect until 545 because of that heavy rain that moved on through. Another flood advisory here till 645 around Fort Morgan thanks to these storms that are pushing to the south. So these aren't our everyday average Colorado storms. These have monsoon moisture moisture packed in there. So we have flooding concerns with these storms. So near Walsenburg, another cell here, one toward Colorado Springs and one between Springfield and Trinidad in southern Colorado. Now tonight by seven o'clock, we'll still see scattered showers here uh, around Denver and off to the east around Fort Morgan and Akron, even out toward Lyman by about 830, but partly to mostly cloudy skies here in Denver as we head through the later evening hours and that rain pushes to the south. As for those Temperatures hour by hour will stay in the 70s through 10 o'clock. Then we'll drop into the 60s for overnight lows. And tomorrow we're going to be back up into the 80s into the afternoon. But starting out your commute to work, it'll be 67 degrees, then 81 going home with a few scattered showers. So our future cast staying in the 60s early on. This will be by 530 in the morning if you're an early riser. 730 partly cloudy skies. Temperatures in the 60s from Denver all the way up toward Fort Collins. Then once we get to around lunchtime, we'll see those upper 70s, low 80s showing up toward Fort Collins and we'll have 60s in the mountains and then by the later afternoon we start to see those scattered showers here for the foothills and also across the eastern plains into tomorrow afternoon. So our highs on Monday will be in the 80s here in Denver, a little hotter in Greeley and Fort Collins, 84 for Boulder, mostly 70s and 80s here across the eastern plains and 90s for the western slope once again tomorrow afternoon. Seven day forecast keeps us in the 80s for the first three days of the week and you see that we have chances for storms every afternoon. Then we have a bit of a cool down Thursday and Friday, a little cold front coming our way. So we'll drop into the 70s on Thursday, partly cloudy, 79 degrees on Friday. Then we're back into the 80s by Saturday and Sunday. So a nice little break there with a cool down. Yeah, it clears up nicely for the weekend. Definitely.